Now we are discussing about great ruler in India that we are calling as Satavahana dynasty. We discuss that Emperor Ashoka was having empire till Karnataka territory. Here, after Emperor Ashoka, in case of Maharashtra, rebellion was carried out, and a new rule was set over Maharashtra territory, that is under leadership of a Brahman king named as Simuko. I am revising name Simuko, but it is sounding something different. The original Sanskrit name is Shri Mukho. It was corrupted as Simuko. He founded out dynasty that is called as Satavahana dynasty. So this way, Satavahana dynasty was formed in Maharashtra territory of India. They were having their capital at Pratishthan. Pratishthan is modern day Paithan in Aurangabad district of Maharashtra. So he was there in Maharashtra having capital at Pratishthan and he was ruling from this part. Now it is described often that Simuk was very very shrewd person and he constructed his empire particularly. This is first known empire in Maharashtra in a historical period. His empire was extended from almost entire parts of Maharashtra. Then onwards that empire spread out in parts of Andhra Pradesh. Then in parts of Gujarat and even they crossed out Satpuda like that their empire was spread out. This way Satvahan empire was considered as here a vast empire ranging from western sea that is Sindhu Sagar and eastern that is Ganga Sagar. In between that this empire was there that was Satvahan empire. Satvahan empire was flourished out because of trade. Now Greeks opened out a trade route from India. Usually our trade route was there from coastal line whereas Greeks opened out direct trade route from this side. So the trade route was there like that. Uh, here there is a port in Maharashtra that is towards north side of Mumbai that is called as Nala Sopara today but ancient name that is Shurparaka port. So from Shurparaka they were carrying out trade by this way till here. Then from here to here there are mouths of river Indus, uh, sorry river Nile. Their port is there Alexandria. So by land they were travelling towards Alexandria and from Alexandria it was taken to Egypt, uh, sorry it was taken to Greece and Italy. Now Roman people continued this trade. We often describe these people as harsh speaking Yavanas. For this word is used. Yavana means what? White people may be possible in those days that was used. So we were calling them as harsh speaking Yavanas. The Italian traders, those who were visiting out India. Now Greeks already penetrated in Maharashtra. They accepted Buddhism and they were welcomed in India and Maharashtra as Yavanacharya. In Maharashtra several caves are there. Out of that some Buddhist caves are really great to observe. That is Karla cave near Lonawala. Bhaje caves, Bedsa caves near Lonawala. These all caves were constructed by Greek people. They were Buddhist but Greek Buddhist. If you observe this Karla cave carefully, you may observe that variety of idols they are there in the that cave these idols they are of Greek styles caves at Karla Bhaje Bedsa Karla Bhaje and Bedsa near Lonawala they are constructed by Greek people 
Greek Buddhist. Now these Italian sellers also used to visit our port and trading was going on from India to Roman side and Greek side. Now here important change was there. After this loss of Hellenic world, another dynasty uh, or say another power was there in Europe that was Roman power. They spread out and this way a Roman empire was formed. Try to recollect Mediterranean Sea. All around Mediterranean Sea, the empire was constructed by Roman people that is called as Roman Empire. In history, this empire is very, very famous. So this is first Roman Empire. Now these Roman emperors were depending on Indian goods. From several years, India was exporting out. Here, they were fond of spices from India, particularly black pepper. That is, uh, we are calling Kali Miri or Kali Mirch. That black pepper was considered as status symbol in Italian or Roman Empire. And that's why they were having tremendous demand of black pepper. And in India, we were exporting out these spices, usually in return of gold. Imagine what was the economical status of this Satwahan Empire. The export of this black pepper was to that extent, great extent, that uh, we often called black pepper as Yavana Priya. This was question asked in UPSC examination also, that what is the meaning of Yavana Priya. So Yavana Priya, that is black pepper. In Sanskrit literature, often it was described as Yavana Priya, that is black pepper. Now, uh, they were having shortage of black pepper. And so, they carried out international trade also. They sailed out towards Indonesia. And from Indonesia, that means in those days, it was called as Java, Sumatra. From these islands, they are also called as islands of spice. So, from that, they imported out black pepper. And then it was sent to Roman people. So, this way, Satwahan were able to carry out this type of international trade also.